government through the minister or the cabinet secretary for education to enforce what he has been saying on TV because I've seen him talking on TV <coughs> and they're saying that no child, no child from whichever background, whether the child was in a private school or whether he was in public school, will be chased away from school because of lack of school fees. We know the economy has hit everybody very hard. We know the government has not provided even face masks. Parents are supposed to buy face masks. Uh, and uh, we are aware that uh, the government is supposed to enforce COVID-19 Ministry of Health guidelines. Where I come from, those guidelines are actually like a mirage. It's a mirage. Because where, where are you enforcing uh, social distancing? You know, where do you enforce them? Classes even before are overcrowded, unless you are going to organize the teaching in shifts. If it is going to be in shifts, so that shift one goes in the morning, and the shift two goes in the afternoon, you cannot enforce social distancing. So if the kids are going to enter the classroom the way they used to, Mr. Mangoa, there will be no social distancing. That is a dream. So we are asking you to think out of the box. Maybe kids can read under trees. If they read under trees, like where I come from, there are no rains. So it is possible to, for kids to read under, under trees because you only need to improvise a blackboard uh, and the teaching will continue. There you can observe social distance. Okay? Uh, so I'm asking the government to have mercy on the kids and on the parents. We don't want our children to die because of corona. Because if one is infected, that child child will infect all the others, so the whole class will go. We don't want to end up there. So we want the ministry to be very clear and give clear instructions on teachers on how they are going to enforce COVID-19 ministry health guidelines. A teacher in the primary. Uh, today is our opening day for grade 4 and 8, uh, opening for the third term, while the rest are opening for uh, second term this time. Um, children, uh, the pupils have turned up in very good number. Uh, almost three quarters of them have turned. So far I've not uh, had any, 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 any challenge in their reporting and I hope by tomorrow they will have uh, all reported. Uh, so far I've not gathered any information of any absent B or any absent DCIM. But uh, by the end of the day today, I will have gathered every information about any child who is not going to report to school. Now, as we open, we have got a challenge in, uh, in, the, in the protocols of COVID-19. Uh, like um, last time when we had two classes, grade uh, 4 and class 8, all our classes were fully occupied. But right now, when the old school now is there, I, I don't know. It's a really, really big challenge. You cannot maintain the social distance which is required by the government and the COVID because uh, we have no place to keep them. Okay, we, are, we can use the sheds, but then the challenge of desks is also biting us hard. But we just hope maybe the government can do something uh, so that we can, uh, we, we, we can uh, afford to have the social distance as required. But meanwhile, uh, please, it is really a challenge, but we hope uh, something is going to be done so that uh, we, we can have the, the social distance and the, the protocols observed. Uh, per class, the, the, the smallest class in number we have is uh, 75. 75, so you can imagine with 75 in a class and we have got 16 classrooms. So it's really, really a challenge. Yeah. We have a very big challenge whereby so many uh, parents have uh, brought their learners uh, from uh, private schools to ask for vacancies in uh, this school. Now, uh, to us, well, as much as we, we try, but then we have no place to squeeze them. I, I don't know what to do. Maybe to keep them off, 
and uh, maybe we can uh, maybe consider the lower ones. Though the government says that uh, we should accommodate them, but to us it's a challenge. But uh, well, maybe we remain to be advised whether to pick them or not to pick them. Yeah. Saving box, very good. Yes? Chair. A chair? Teacher. And you see a chair? Yes? Grown-ups, very good. Pinyo, my coffee. 